anyway, it was the beginning of my interest in apple cider vinegar and there are different types of apple cider vinegar. The two common things that you'll find are uh, the distilled vinegar. Uh, this is very commonly found in grocery stores and uh, you notice it's quite clear and this has been uh, filtered and pasteurized and pasteurized its heating so uh, it's different than uh, the more organic uh, raw uh, apple cider vinegar that you notice is cloudy and uh, ugh. <laughs> it doesn't look as pretty no it doesn't look as pretty and this is supposed to have the mother in it mother daddy no um, well the mother is this the pulpy stuff that have been filtered out and supposedly that's for all the good nutrients and, and vitamins and stuff is although it's been claimed by others that apple cider vinegar does not have very many vitamins although it has some minerals and but um, it's both of these have been diluted to 5% uh, acid and diluted with water to be 5% acid uh, and the acidic acid in there, although there's other acids in, in here as well, is supposedly uh, primarily what gives a lot of its benefits, although there's not been a lot of research done. Apple cider vinegar has been used for medicinal purposes for thousands of years. In fact, uh, the founder, the guy who's supposed to be the founder of modern Western medicine, uh, in 400 BC Hippocrates he used that on his patients in fact he did it for himself and the amount of claims that uh, are made for apple cider vinegar is a folk remedy uh, you would think this was snake oil hey get your bottle of vinegar here get your no 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 uh, <laughs> so it's got a lot of claims for health benefits and uh, I won't go into why uh, they say these benefits are good. Uh, it's somewhat controversial because people say yes, it hasn't. Yes, no, it doesn't. It's it's the it's the phytochemicals in your now. It's the well anyway. Uh, you don't have to know why something works, but if it works is what's really important, and if it works without giving you side effects. So, first of all, before I go into what the benefits are of apple cider vinegar. Um, let me tell you something about digestion in, in a nutshell because your stomach you know from early science class that it produces hydrochloric acid but your stomach does not produce hydrochloric acid all the time for example when you're done digesting food you don't need to produce hydro hydrochloric acid anymore uh, hydrochloric acid is especially useful in digesting proteins because it has to break the proteins apart in order to get digested. Well, after your stomach is done digesting, which can take up to two hours if in a complicated meal, uh, that's when you should be drinking your water is on an empty stomach or a digested stomach, so you're not diluting the acids in your stomach. Or you should drink a lot of water before a meal, but not during a meal because you're diluting the acids in your stomach. And that's where apple cider vinegar comes in, is to uh, when you should take it. And the best time to take apple cider vinegar is before a meal. Right before a meal. Because it increases the acid in your stomach to help digest it. Now, uh, different sites and different people, different claims of how much to take. Um, some will say two teaspoons, some will say two tablespoons. Well, if you're new to apple cider vinegar, it does its sometimes have an acquired taste because it's very acidic. Uh, start out with a table, uh, excuse me, a teaspoon or, or two in a glass of water and if it's a little harsh for you you can add some honey and uh, for some people they add just a smidgen of baking soda but you don't want to add too much baking soda because you do want the acidic qualities and you do want to drink it with a straw because you don't want that touching your teeth. So that's why you want to have it before meals because it helps with digestion. And if you're worried about acid reflux, I'll be talking about that. So don't worry if you have acid reflux. It actually is helpful for it. 
Wow, amazing. You don't want to brush your teeth right after either because that'll get the acid pushed into your teeth. But what you can benefit from is uh, nowadays they, they have a lot more uh, what they call enamel building toothpaste. Now whether or not it builds enamel or not, but what it does do is helps fight off acid. So if you have the ability to brush your teeth before drinking it, that's great. But as you eat your meal, your saliva, which is basic, uh, not acidic, will mix in with the food and help combat that, <clears throat> that apple cider vinegar. But also what you can do is rinse out your mouth uh, with water, or if you have it, baking soda, and slosh the baking soda around in there, and then spit it out because you don't want that acidity or the baking soda in your mouth because you want to have the acid working for digestion. Now, a word about pills. There are apple cider vinegar pills, and a lot of people take them because they don't want to be passing this through their mouth, but um, this has a 5% dilution. Uh, pills may be much more concentrated than that, and a problem can occur, so you want to be aware of this, a problem can occur, a problem, yeah, a problem. Uh, if you've had any problem at all swallowing pills, or if that pill gets stuck anywhere down, the coating can come off, you know, dissolve, and it releases that acid, not in your stomach, but in the esophagus, and that can burn. Uh, give you an acid burn in your esophagus, which is not a good, not a good thing, not a good thing. Not a Click the link below for our post on this, where we include the best prices for buying online.